My mission today is to create a beautiful Star Trek themed watercolour galaxy art journal page. And then if I'm really lucky to get Carl Urban, who plays Bones on Star Trek, to sign it. Now to get the shape right, uh, I have created a template. I've used Word and Photoshop to create this. And all I'm going to do now is trace this onto my journal. Alright, at the moment I am surrounded, I don't know if I can show you, by watercolour palettes. Because <laughs> they're all, all my colours are in different uh, boxes. I have a round watercolour brush. So I've got my brush nice and wet. Alright, now if you tilt it you can see if you've got an even coverage of water. It should be shiny but not puddles and that's exactly what I currently have. And it's, let me see, I've got a little bit here that I've missed. Okay, now this will give me a beautiful crisp clean edge to work with. And we'll make sure that I don't really need the masking fluid. So, now it's just a matter of adding colours. Now while I was painting the background with water, I've added about five drops of water from an eyedropper to each of the colour palettes with my watercolour paints in them. And this allows it to sort of activate the pan, but still be quite syrupy. So some colours I'm using are straight from the pan, are quite thickly, and others I'm mixing with a little bit of water, like these first two, just so that they spread and flow a little bit more easily. Um, it's going to allow me to get a lovely dark background. Now I have to work quite quickly here so that my background doesn't dry. I've started with Cobalt Violet and Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And I've mixed both of these so that they're quite watery, so that they'll spread across the background. I'm now moving on to a slightly darker colour, which is Rhodonite, and this one's from Daniel Smith. I've used a lot of Daniel Smith colours in this one, mainly because they've got a little sparkle in some of them, which you know I love. So, you might have noticed, I'm not actually painting in strokes here. I'm more dabbing the colour on. Um, and as you can see with the Kyanite here, again, another gorgeous sparkly colour from Daniel Smith, Basically the water is doing the work for me. All I'm doing is touching the brush to my wet background and because it's going wet in wet I'm getting little runs and little patterns and basically I haven't had to do very much work here. I'm just dabbing the paint on and letting sort of water move it as it will. Now this colour is so pretty I'm going to flick a little of this over the background. I don't want my Star Trek logo just to be sort of sitting there all by its lonesome. Um, I've now gone to a much darker colour and this is Cobalt Blue. And this one is incredibly rich and incredibly dark. So you need to be quite... Um, apply it with a light touch. Um, this was a bit nerve wracking for me because this colour can really take over sometimes. So I was trying to be very, very gentle with my application. I've also... I uh, decided to add a little lunar blue. Um, it's a really dark colour. It's not quite black, but it's, it's gorgeous. I thought this would be perfect for a night sky effect. Now, if you've accidentally had a bit of a drip, keep a little bit of paper towel handy and just soak off any of those bits that are just a bit too much. Now, I'm adding in a little bit of moon glow here, but I didn't clean my brush very well, so it has a tiny bit of cobalt blue in there as well, if you're wondering why the colour's a bit strange. Um, and I'm just using sort of these leftovers, these light bits, to add a bit of interest in here. Now, a bit more sparkle from Duochrome Aquamarine. Um, this one has sort of a, a two-tone sort of colour, and I haven't used it before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. It dries a lot um, less pigmented than it may look, but with a lot more sparkle. So I was really happy with the colour there. A little bit more Moon Glow, and again, applying this quite thickly and just sort of dabbing it on. Now you can see the depth of colour starting here, um, but I wanted it something a bit more interesting. So I've applied some permanent magenta, and then some gorgeous pink Rose of Ultramarine. 
Now again, I haven't mixed this with much water, so it's quite concentrated. I'm going back in with a little more kyanite to add a bit more dark, a little bit more depth to some of those areas, and some indigo from Windsor & Newton. Now I've actually let some of those colour puddles dry. And whilst you would normally not want to do that if you're working with watercolours, I'm trying to create something that's as textured and patterned as possible. So I know that if I let some of those dry, the drying edges are going to be kind of like nebula or star clusters or something interesting in my background. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of table salt just for some patterning. I have some Copic blending ink that I'm going to use as an alcohol. Now when you flick alcohol over watercolour paints, you get beautiful effects. I'm adding a little tiny bit to a jar just so it doesn't get so messy and flicking this on with a paintbrush. Now you can't see it quite so well because the page is so wet, but it makes the most beautiful patterns and it just adds a little bit of interest or a bit more interest to the patterning and the way that the watercolour paints move. Give it a go, you'll love it. Now I've also decided that the page looked a little bit mm, sort of stark. So I'm just using all of the colours that I've used on my main image to create a few interesting looking blobs. Nothing special, I've just sort of let the water do the work. Now to really bring on the bling, I'm going to add my little secret weapon and it's from Schminky and it's a dry gouache powder and it's called Tricolor Bronze but it's beautiful and gold. Now because my image is so wet, um, all I really have to do is dip a paintbrush into this dry powder and sprinkle it into the wettest areas. It'll uh, spread a little bit um, and move around and it will give my watercolour Star Trek logo the most gorgeous metallic elements within it. Um, wait till it's dry, this is going to look amazing and I'll show you in close up so you can see. Now I just have to be patient and wait for this to dry before I can move on to the next step. So I've brushed the salt off now that it's dried. So now what I'm going to do is cut just a very quick mask. Now while I've got a gorgeous background, it's not looking very galactic. So I'm getting a little of my Dr. PH Martin's No Bleed White, mixing it with a little bit of water, and I'm just going to sprinkle this over the background. So I'm just doing a few splatters off the project first, just to take a little of the paint off. And now what I'm going to do is tap it over the end of another brush, just to get some different size splats. And remove the mask. Once the mask is off, Add a few little splatters to the outside just so it's sort of unified. Then use a 0.3 Copic Multiliner to colour in your text and a white uniball pen to add some highlights. Now I've taken this outside and filmed so that you can see how amazing these watercolours look. Um, I just I can't tell you enough how gorgeous these are. I was really pleased with this and I think my mission might succeed. So I mentioned at the start of this video that my goal was to create an art journal page and see if I could get Carl Urban to sign it for me. And I did. So just so you can have a look, here's a very cheesy photo of myself and Carl Urban. <laughs> Be nice. I was a little bit starstruck. And here's my finished page complete with Carl's signature. Um, I was absolutely thrilled to be able to get him to sign my piece of artwork. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be back with more. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give me a like. And if you'd like to see more from Sparkle Tart, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a product list below the video in the description. And you can connect with me via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter or Google+. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.